So yeah, hello everyone. I see that there's uh, a couple of uh, people watching. Uh, so thank thank you for joining in. Um, today I will talk about um, the federal government um, and the the green belt. Um, and please feel free to. Um, message uh, in the chat um, about this topic or other environmental um, or social justice uh, topics that you, you would like to uh, discuss. Um, so this, this morning um, I saw an article called The Federal Government Could Intervene on the Greenbelt Development. Um, and Gillibald warns Ontario, um, and he's the Federal Minister of Environment. Um, and the main points, well, is um, they're looking to um, expect, looking to, um, they're opposed to, um, Ontario building on the green belt and um, because of uh, a climate action it's harmful for climate and endangered species as well there was um, indeed yeah endangered species. Pox Canada has also weighed in on this. Um, and then there was a lot of people that uh, wanted to have a say on uh, what were concerned about um, the federal government. Uh, they wanted the federal government to intervene uh, in this decision. Um, and uh, now it appears that um, that's exactly what they're going to do. Uh, possible avenues would be the Environmental Impact Assessment Act, uh, which has been used on Highway 413, um, Endangered Species Act, um, because those... Um, um, not um those wild those endangered species that could be impacted uh, especially in the Rouge National Park um and this area some of the area is right beside the Rouge National Park and there has been an agreement between Parks Canada and the government of Ontario over the Dufferin's Rouge uh Dufferin's uh, Rouge area, an agricultural preserve. Um, and then there's also um, a peace, order, and good government that could, in theory, be used, um, w which is very limited. Um, The peace, order, and good government could be used in areas of national uh, concern. Um, uh, those specific areas, um, areas that are not described in sections 91 and 92 uh, of the uh, Canadian Constitution. I don't, uh, this is the distribution of provincial and federal powers. I don't believe that this would apply here. Um, emergency. Um, I'm not sure that there would be uh, an emergency, but if if the um, if there was a declaration of a biodiversity emergency or a climate emergency, uh, that might be a possibility. Um, 
areas of national 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 concern. Um, so things like climate change and um, biodiversity loss, uh, especially in Rouge National Park. Uh, that that would be um, areas of national concern. And um, Rouge National Park is um, um, a na national park. Uh, so there, there's uh, some federal jurisdiction. Um, I think I said the Endangered Species Act. Um, I don't know. Oh. Uh, Oh, uh, thank you uh, uh, for your comment, uh, Thrilling. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll keep that in, in mind. Um, um, let's see. Chat settings. I'll, I'll I'll keep the the post for now. Um. Yeah. So that so those are t two avenues. Um. It ha the federal government has intervened. Uh, previously. Um. Let's see. Yeah, and uh, those uh, uh, totals, all, all the total species, all uh, species at risk. Um, um, yeah, so the Highway 413 has been um, delayed uh, because of the review. Oh, I wonder if there was a, some of the articles to, all links to um, uh, pre previous announcements. So the government of Canada made an announcement to protect uh, nature in Ontario. So paving over the green belt uh, to build housing would be um, would be opposed to this, contrary to this. Um, so th this press release, um, government of Canada to protect nature in Ontario. Uh, says that protecting nature is vital to the health and well-being of Canadians to reverse biodiversity loss and to fight climate change. Um, so, um, and then there's the Archie Agreement, which they're going to protect 30% of Canada's lands and waters by 2030. So there's international agreements as well. Um, so that might lead... Uh, into like national concern um, if uh, areas that are already protected lose protection. Um, and these houses are not going to be uh, affordable. Um, there's already um, land available um, that has been approved. Um, So there's different parks, uh, some in Burlington, Hamilton. So in, in the cities where, where it's needed the most, uh, you can protect land far away from where people are going to uh, live, but it's not as effective as in the cities. Um, Um, so there's like some funding for Gonquin uh, Park as well. Um, 
And then, um, I didn't mention this, but uh, another avenue that the federal government could take is going um, uh, with the um, clause, I, the section um, 35 in the Canadian Constitution regarding Aboriginal uh, rights, uh, Indigenous rights, um, and uh, there hasn't been adequate consultation regarding the changes to the green belt and land that is land, the land swap that the government is talking about. The the land is already protected, um, or has some protection in it. Um, so I'll go back to the. Uh, original article. Um, yeah, so the those comments about the um, conservation authority and um, uh, being um, disempowered, uh, quote, um, and that was regarding Bill Twenty Three. Um, and then there was a investigation by the Norwell and the Toronto Stall, which found that six developers bought Greenbelt land since 2018. Um, um, and then there was, um, Ontario's Integrity Commissioner and Auditor General will launch uh, probes into the province's decision on the Greenbelt, and the Ontario Police will be cons is is considering whether to launch an investigation as well. So those th three different investigations, and I I can make a separate video uh, about that. Um, Yeah, um, so yeah, the, the federal government uh, definitely has a role to play, um, um, and they, they can also uh, uh, not, not provide disaster, as much disaster relief in areas that have been flooded uh, previously. Um, so that might be uh, something that they can also do. Um, uh, be because um, areas built on floodplains uh, shouldn't get as much uh, in uh, disaster relief and the federal government does Find that I'll see if I can find an article about that. Uh, I'm now reading it. Federal government should stop providing relief. For flooding. For flooding. I think it was an opinion piece. Oh, and then I want it to be in um, this country. Uh, Yeah, so yeah, there, there is, um, there is, um, uh, lawsuits from First Nations. 
Um, let's see. Um, so, yeah, so the, the all lawsuits uh, by false nations. Um, so that's uh, um, definitely federal as well. Um, but I, I'm not finding the, the article, but I remember reading about it. Um, but it, it was it was years ago. Um, so insurance is one way um, to look at uh, some of this stuff. Um, um, let's see, chat sign. Um, yeah, so is there anyone in, in chat, um, would anyone like to make a comment? Um, um, yeah, if, if not, um, I, I think it would be a good idea to, um, uh, look at some of the, um, environmental items on the environmental registry. Um, so I will uh, take a, 